took several pictures of St. Richard's statue, which poses in front of the uh, front doors. And Eliza helped me pick out a couple, three, that would work pretty good. So I started with making a board and uh, gessoed it out. And then I kind of got a little jump start that day. I kind of broke down the image into a more of a, a cubism style, where I broke it down into shapes and did an underpainting. And from there, I did a, a, one, a glaze, and then I was ready to take it to the event held at the South. Got there a couple hours early, and then I started kind of working on it with my plastic knife, and I was kind of building up glazes, and everything's going pretty good. And I get to, you know, move around a little bit, see how everything's going. It's starting to fill up now, and I'm starting to add more glazes. And and pretty soon I'm gonna start changing my tools. I'm gonna go from a pallet knife to, um, you know, using some wadded up plastic bag. And I'm just doing a little scrum and to get the texture I want. I'm using big paint brushes. You know, and while that's drying, I decided I'm gonna start a watercolor. So as you can see here, I'm, I've got, I've done some splatter techniques and then I'm, I'm roughing in a profile picture. And this is just to kind of, kind of entertain and keep busy uh, while my, big painting is drying but it's it's a lot of fun working watercolor it works real quick plus especially when you got a big brush you're working on it but i'm kind of feel like this one's going to probably get finished at the studio and i take my time with the details and so it's time to get back on to the um, the big painting and now it's about to get dry and i can start working on some more details so here we go so I'm adding some more details in there. Contrast, you're building, pushing, pulling, and you, you drop in a little spot color here and you decide, hey, I like that, I'll take it off, you wipe it off, you just keep it. But the main thing is you want a lot of process. You want the viewer to look at all the layers that you put on. And so that makes a very good painting when you can see five, six, seven, eight, ten different layers on top of each other. So, uh, at this time, people are coming around, they're taking a look at it, or making comments, and that's a whole lot of fun when you paint live. You get to get real comments from people. I really like just all this light that you've got on the face right there, and the highlights. It's just beautiful. Yeah. Um, I think that you can see that the highlights are just beautiful. All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. 